when you've got double digit growth in an industry, it, it really does kind of mask some of the underlying challenges, let's call them, that uh, the industry faces. So I just want to ask you all to begin, what do you think are the biggest challenges facing the industry to get to a clean supply chain? So for us, you know, the, the biggest challenges are really uh, in the programmatic space, finding good, clean inventory to, uh, to, to buy for our clients. Um, when we go direct to publishers, um, we find the, the levels of fraud are not you know, so high. That, that obviously, any amount of fraud is, is not a good thing, but they're usually low, uh, you know, low single digits. It's buying on programmatic exchanges where we see you know, higher levels. So, so the key challenge is really bringing that down, focusing on sourcing better inventory, cleaner inventory, and some of the stuff you guys are doing you know, with TAG in terms of having a TAG ID flow through the entire ecosystem. I mean, that's a huge, that, that's a huge boost in terms of being able to figure out uh, where, that, so, where the source of that inventory is, where that, that impression came from before we actually can make a bid on it. We see a TAG ID, we see a number, we know it's a good, uh, well-lit, environment where we can put our ads. So I think, you know, that's the big challenge is really is navigating through the entire ecosystem, all the hops, all the different players and figuring out by the time it gets to our decisioning engines to make that call about whether or not to buy, to, to engage in that bid, um, we need that data because that filters into all the other data we're using. More data. More yep. Data. Steve? Biggest challenge? I can't disagree at all with anything that Mitch says, but with all due respect to my friend Mitch, there's there's a problem that also persists uh, specifically on the demand side. And I was chatting with someone recently who explained it this way. They said, um, you know, you can buy uh, twenty dollar video impressions, um, and of course you're going to buy us a limited amount of them, whereas you can buy four and five dollar video impressions. You can buy, buy those all day long. And at the end of the day, if 80% of that 4 and $5 stuff is fraud, it doesn't really matter because you still came out ahead because it means that 20% of those impressions went to real humans. And, you know, and I, I, I would never accuse anybody, especially not Mitch, of, of, of any, of sort of consciously making, doing a decision, making a decision to do something like that. But, but that's an incentive that exists um, on the buy side as well, and uh, and I think it's it's something that we need to address. All the rest of what of what we're talking about, like everything that Mitch points to, is about transparency in the supply chain, which we can talk about. Yeah, but I think you know media rates are important, and and you know it's an education process too, where you you know in the past we've been focused exclusively on you know getting that rate down as low as possible, right. that bottom rate to get your CPA as low as possible, most efficient methodology, um, but obviously that's that's done a lot of damage because in those right. low bottom rates, often there's a lot of fraud, and you know we have to navigate that. And that's that's to your point. I mean, that's part of the issue. So actually, to, to, to your credit, and and to uh, uh, an interesting anecdote, like when I was actually working in this field in fraud, I came to meet with you, Mitch, and uh, and at the time that I was meeting with uh, uh, with you guys, I was thinking this problem is entirely the the, the fault of the agencies. And then after our conversation, <laughs> nice. after nice, our nice conversation, like, position, right? Mitch? Where's Joe Barron? Yeah, 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 I might not get out of here with my knees intact. Yeah. Um, so uh, uh, after that conversation, though, I found myself realizing that that it's that you guys are just as much a, a victim of of this as as everyone else because the pressure to re to reduce the CPMs and to essentially do more with less comes from the advertisers. So you know, um, whenever you have advertisers constantly saying you know, we need you to achieve more with less money, which is what they tell, you know, uh, agencies to do, then agencies are naturally trying to accomplish that, and, uh, uh, and it creates this cycle that, uh, that really needs to, be, needs to be broken. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely that balance between, you know, media efficiency, lower CPMs, and reaching your audience at scale. Right. And that's the balance we're always trying to strike.